guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is crystal and today i'm going to be telling you a little bit about my new piercing that i got and i'm also going to be doing a makeup haul of some of the latest products that i've been using so last wednesday i got my tragus pierced uh, as you can see um i've wanted it done for probably huh I'd say I wanted it done for probably a good couple of years. Um, there was a girl in my high school that had one and I always thought it looked really pretty. But it wasn't until about six or seven months ago, I guess, that I actually uh, seriously started to consider getting it done. The procedure was fairly simple, you know, as it was as you would expect it to be. Um, I went in there, I laid down on the table. Um, the guy told me to turn my head right over to the other side to look at my friend that was there with me at the time. Um, he put a clamp on it first and then he just pretty much went ahead and put the needle through. After that he put a second needle through and it was just one of those little bendy plastic ones and he used that to thread the jewellery through. I wouldn't say it hurt, it wasn't exactly painful, but it certainly wasn't pleasant. Um, it was a strange feeling, I'm really not quite sure how to describe it, but it was a lot of pressure, it was so much pressure in my ear, like, mm, the best thing I can think of to describe it, and it's not a very good um, description, it's not a very good way to explain it, but it was like somebody had grabbed hold of my ear and was pulling it like as hard as they could. That's kind of like what it felt like. When the needle went through, I was a little bit freaked out. I heard this massive, massive pop inside of my ear. But yeah, apart from that, it wasn't too painful. He put the jewelry through um, and I was right to go. One of the interesting things about it was he told me not to worry about any aftercare for it at all. He told me, oh, the body is very good at healing itself as it is, so just let it wash off in the shower and that's about it. Um, I mostly have listened to that, but I have just wiped it down with a little bit of salt water a couple of times because one of the things I've noticed, the initial stage of getting it done was fine, but afterwards it's been quite painful and quite swollen. Um, it does throb on and off quite a bit, which is really, really painful and really, really annoying. It has caused me to get earaches and headaches and just general aches around my face. Um, I suppose that's probably normal because it is so close to my head. Um, but you know, nothing I can't handle. But yeah, it certainly hasn't really been the nicest experience I've ever had. But I'm glad I got it done. Um, would I recommend for somebody to go and get it done? Definitely, if you want it done, go for it. I would say wait until you're really, really sure that you want it done because it's, all I can say is it's a lot of pain to go through to then go and decide that you don't want it. Like the initial piercing stage, I won't say that it hurt because it really didn't. It was very unusual and it was very uncomfortable and it was quite unpleasant, but it, it didn't hurt. But afterwards, like the last week, I've had quite a lot of pain. Like I've had headaches, earaches, as I said, um, throbbing, swelling. It has had a little bit of crustiness around it, but I think that's pretty normal, you know. I just, I clean that off when I use my salt water. Um, but yeah, definitely, I'd say go and get it done if you want to get it done for sure. It's definitely, definitely worth it. It looks so cute. I'm really, really, really happy with it. And I'm glad that I got it done. But just make sure that you're really sure. As with any piercing, you know, it is going to scar your body. It's, it's a permanent thing. Um, so, yeah, just make sure you're really, really sure. But definitely, if you're sure and you want it done, go for it. Okay, so now getting to the second part of my video, the makeup haul. I've gone on a little bit of a rampage lately, you know, just buying so many cosmetics and stuff and trying out different things and, um, yeah, so I thought I'd show you guys what I've got. 
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with is this NARS Sheer Glow um, Foundation. It was actually recommended. I've joined a beauty page quite recently on Facebook, you know, just for all kinds of different things, beauty, um, and they recommended that I use this because I was looking for a nice sheer foundation to use when I was on camera. So they recommended this, and um, I'm actually I'm wearing it now, and it's quite good. It's very full coverage. Um, I wouldn't really say it's sheer. I wouldn't say it's matte either. It's I don't know, it's um, I'd probably say it's more sheer than what it is matte actually to be honest, but I'm happy with it. Um, it does, it goes on really well, it's quite runny, um, it's quite runny, sorry, stuff keeps falling off of my lap. I'll squirt a little bit on my hand so you can see. Um, it's quite runny as you can see it's probably running down my hand right now um, but the coverage is amazing I will say that the coverage is awesome um, and it, it's very blendable it's a very very layerable um, you know you can build it up really well and yeah so I am wearing that now and as you can see it's quite good and the like it stays on. Once you put it on, it stays on, which is really, really good as well. The next thing I'm going to tell you guys about is this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Um, you just pop it on before you put your eyeshadows on. It's supposed to um, stop it from creasing and make your eyeshadow stay on longer. It actually says Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base that's all it really says but um yeah I mean it's good I've been using it quite a bit I can't say that I've noticed a whole lot of difference with my eyeshadow um but yeah I, I don't really know what to say about it I probably wouldn't bother buying it again um just because I personally haven't really noticed a difference but it certainly does look very pretty, like as you can see. The next thing I'm reviewing is my MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. I bought this probably about a month ago and until I started using the NARS, I was using this every day. I love it. It's probably one of the best foundations I've ever had. Um, its coverage is really, really good. It's another matte finish one, but I, I love it. I love it so much. Um, it's very blendable, very buildable good sturdy you know go to foundation and I would definitely 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 100% recommend this it is amazing it is so good the next thing I got this one's another very recent one um, I only got this probably about a week and a half ago it's the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette um, let you have a look inside. It also did come with a little brush, but that's in my bathroom. <laughs> so there's the colours you can see. Um, it's good. It's very good. Um, probably one of the better eyeshadows that I've used. Definitely, like I can't fault it at all. I will definitely continue to use it. But I am a little bit biased because I have fallen in love with another eyeshadow. I've heard so much about it on YouTube and um, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so I, I still favour that particular eyeshadow over this one but you know it, it's definitely second in my favourite eyeshadows. It's a good quality product, it's high pigmented and I like it a lot so yeah I definitely get it again. I, I think it's really good. Now getting to my absolute all-time favorite eyeshadow it's the MAC pigment pot um, I think it's in a bronze color it's a 64 there you go I'm not sure if you can see um, this is my holy grail I love it love it love it I wear it almost every day um, it, 
I cannot say enough about this. Um, it's so high pigmented, it's not even funny. It's just like pure glitter on your eyes. Like, but when I say pure glitter, it's, it's not like ridiculously glittery like, um, like you put a ton of glitter glue on your eyes. I won't say it's like that, but it's so sheer, it's smooth, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. It's amazing. I love this product so much. I cannot say it enough. I want to go out and buy every color now. It's just... Oh, I don't even know what to say. I love this. I absolutely love this like you would not believe. And finally, the last product that I'm going to show you is my Hourglass primer serum that's literally what it's called um, there you go I've used this probably about three times now um, it's it's very good I, I've noticed a difference for sure I have some problem areas I have trouble with my makeup setting into the lines on my forehead and around my mouth um, and I also have problems with my makeup not staying on all day this has definitely made it a big difference with all of them um, I won't say it's completely eradicated it but you know it's definitely worth its money it's um yeah I, I don't even know what to say like it's, it's good it's good I definitely go and buy it again um, yeah so I don't really know what else to tell you guys about it it's it's a glass bottle well, it, it's like a frosted glass bottle, but I think it's actually plastic. If you can hear there. Um, yeah. I'd, I'd get it again. So, definitely, if you're looking for a good, good quality primer, it's not too expensive, I'd say go with this one. Um, yeah, and that's about it. Alright, so... That's about it for today, guys. Um, if you'd like to see me... Um, putting these products on so that you know you can get a bit of an idea of how they go on and you know nothing's better before you go and buy a product nothing is better than seeing it put on somebody so I'd be more than happy to do that for you guys I'd be more than happy to you know do a video using all of these products if you wanted me to um, just let me know in the comments below or you know message me on Twitter or Instagram or link my Twitter and Instagram below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, and that's really about it, I think. Please like and subscribe. That really helps me out a lot. Please, if you've got any comments or questions, leave them down below and I'll try to get back to all of you. Apart from that, have a good day, guys, and I'll see you next time.